क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विद द चैप्टर ऑफ माइक्रोवेव ट्रांसमिशन एसोसिएटेड इन टू द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन कॉल्ड एज रेक्टेंगुलर वेव गाइड वी स्टार्टेड दिस चैप्टर विद द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ द पैरल प्लेट वेव गाइड कैन बी मॉडिफाइड टू हैव अ रेक्टेंगुलर वेव गाइड अ हॉलो मेटेलिक ट्यूब सो वेयर वी हैव फाउंड सोल्यूशंस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दी वेव इक्वेशंस फॉर वेव प्रोपैगेशन ऑफ माइक्रोवेव आई कैन से हियर सो वी हैव अंडरस्टूड the propagation with the help of transverse electric mode the transverse magnetic mode also and solved two two problems each for the corresponding modes of propagation in the last video we have now the knowledge of power association whatever the power delivered whatever the power has been lost while having the propagation in this wave guide so based on to the formulations let us have a simple problem so here we are provided a problem statement corresponding to the power transmission and losses in rectangular wave guide the statement is an air filled wave guide with a cross section of 2 by 1 cm transports energy in the te10 mode at a rate of 0.5 horsepower the impressed frequency is 30 gigahertz what is the peak value of the electric field occurring into the guide here so to read the problem statement this rectangular wave guide is filled with the air so we can go for the use of permittivity by epsilon 0 and permeability by mu 0 the two constant values already known to us now the cross sectional dimensions are given 2 by 1 cm so 2 is the broader dimension so small a is equal to 2 and small b that it is the smaller dimension width so breadth is 2 cm width is 1 cm so now this rectangular wave guide is having a transportation of energy operating into the dominant mode that it is te10 mode now the rate of transfer of power power transmission is 0.5 horsepower half horsepower i can say and the impressed frequency while doing so is 30 gigahertz now we are asked to calculate the peak value of electric field occurring inside the guide here so the electric field that will be generally denoted by capital e here so electric field is always measured in terms of volts per meter so as we require the peak value the peak value can be denoted as capital e suffix 0 v here so capital e suffix 0 v in terms of volts per meter is equal to what is the question here so let us begin to solve for this required value by making the use of this given dimensions and the rate of power transmission along with the frequency into the use so very first of all as we are provided that the dominant mode of propagation is there we have the given details that it is small m is equal to 1 and small n is equal to 0 here so because of small m is equal to 1 small n is equal to 0 and the t mode of operation the expression of the various components expressed into the rectangular coordinate system for the electric and magnetic components we can express as when we have ex component 0 but hx component is equal to capital e suffix 0y divided by z suffix g in multiplication to the sine of pi x divided by a into the exponential e to the power minus j times beta into the suffix g which is to be squared here next to that we have ey component is equal to capital e suffix 0y in multiplication to the trigonometric function sin here operated with pi into x divided by small a into e to the power minus of j times beta suffix g which is to be squared here so while having the component of ey here the corresponding magnetic component in the same 
डायरेक्शनल एक्सिस पॉजिटिव वाई एच वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो हियर नाउ वी हैव द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ई जेड कॉम्पोनेंट इज इक्वल टू जीरो हियर वेयर एज एच जेड कॉम्पोनेंट इज इक्वल टू वी हैव एच सफिक्स जीरो जेड इन टू कोसाइन ऑफ पाए एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ए इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू द एक्सपोनशियल ई टू दी पावर माइनस जे टाइम्स बिटा सफिक्स जी टू बी स्क्वेर्ड हियर सो एज वी हैव ट्रांसफर्स इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड सो फॉर ट्रांसफर्स इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कंसिडरिंग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ प्रोपेगेशन करस्पॉन्डिंग टू दी झेड एक्सिस द ई झेड कॉम्पोनेंट इज झीरो सो धिस होल्ड्स ट्रू एज वी हैव मेन्शन सो ई झेड कॉम्पोनेंट इज झीरो द रेस्ट ऑफ द कॉम्पोनेंट्स कैन बी प्रेजेंट हियर बट आउट ऑफ दोज एज माइक्रोवेव इज इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव ई एच वेव वी कैन से वेन द झेड इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ प्रोपेगेशन रेस्ट ऑफ द टू एक्सेस y and x will be used for the orientations of e and h here so for the orientation of magnetic field vector we have x axis and we have express it in terms of the rest of the parameters here whereas we have y direction made possible for the orientation and the variation of the electric component as far as the space is concerned here by this particular equation so the equation of h sub x x the equation of e sub x y and the equation of h sub x z are very very important as per as the given wave propagation for the given rectangular wave guide is concerned here now we move further so for detailed analysis we shall be taking the help of diagram where we can also express the given values so in this diagram we shall be showing you what are the exact dimensions here so this is the inside cross section and as this is the broader dimension here we have been provided the value of 2 cm of length for the breadth of the wave guide whereas this is the width of the wave guide having the dimension length of 1 cm here so here we have x axis y axis and the z direction into the use here making the use of right hand side coordinate system here now as the equations corresponding to that of the electric and magnetic components we have seen so these equation are dependent on beta suffix g here so beta is basically the phase shift constant when we talk about the exponential e to the power minus j gamma or simply gamma here so gamma is the propagation constant and gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta considering attenuation is zero here we count only the j times beta here so beta suffix g corresponding to that of the wave guide here we are taking under consideration so very first of all we shall be having the computation of what exactly the phase shift constant corresponding to the wave propagation and power transmission inside the wave guide is so from the previous videos we have a formulation of the phase shift constant beta sub xg is equal to we have square root of omega square mu 0 epsilon 0 minus pi square divided by small a square here which can also be expressed into the form where we continue with the square root computed while taking the pi outside within the square root we can take twice f squared divided by c squared minus 1 upon a squared here so here mu 0 is permeability of the air or the free space epsilon 0 is permittivity of the free space here or air small a is the broader dimension we are provided with the value 2 cm here omega omega is equal to 2 pi f the angular frequency here so instead of omega we are expressing it omega is equal to 2 pi f pi we have taken outside from both the terms here so now beta sub x g here we have c also it is velocity of light into the air or free space so we can substitute the values and make computation here so we keep pi outside the square root 
inside here 2 will be squared to the value 4 so the 2 is squared here so the square of 2 is equal to 4 here and now f is to be squared here so for the value of f we are provided 30 gigahertz here 3030 so instead 30 gigahertz that it means 3 into 10 raise to power 10 here so 3 will be squared to 9 here and 10 raise to power 10 that is squared to 10 raise to the power 20 here so this is now divided by c squared so it was initially 3 into 10 raise to power 8 bracket square so it will be 9 into 10 raise to the power 16 we can put so this is minus 1 upon small a is squared it is 2 centimeters 2 is squared to the value 4 into 10 raise to power minus 2 is squared to the 10 raise to power minus 4 here so here we result with pi in multiplication to the square root is resulting into the value that it is 193.5 here so 193.5 times pi which can be 3.14 the constant value we can obtain the phase shift constant for the waveguide propagation beta sub g is equal to 608.81 so in the si system of measurements the phase shift constant is measured in terms of radians per meter here so i just outline this particular value which will be helpful to determine the maximum or the peak value of electric field now let us make use of the formula where we have the power delivered power delivered into the z direction by the waveguide can be expressed as capital p so capital p is equal to here we have a real part for the square bracket that involves 1 by 2 having the double integrals 1 integral for the width of the rectangular waveguide extending from 0 centimeter to that of the small b here whereas the second integral is 0 centimeter to the value of small a so it is 0 to 1 centimeter 0 to 2 centimeter applied over the power so the power content is given by the pointings vector so pointings vector p bar is nothing but the cross product of the electric vector and the magnetic vector here so here we express capital e bar in cross to that of the h bar here now here we have the square bracket closed here this is in multiplication to the differentials in the direction of x differential in the direction of y and the power is resulted into the direction of z that can be made useful with the help of unit vector az cap here so now by the next step to continue make calculation for the power delivered 1 by 2 we can take as constant outside and now we can take 0 to b integral 0 to a integral applicable to the cross product of the two so here we take the square bracket where the first component we express as for the electric component we have capital e suffix 0 y sine of pi x divided by a into e to the power minus j times beta suffix g squared in multiplication to here we have a y cap here so this is having the cross product with we have the another vector h bar expressed as minus of beta sub g divided by omega into mu sub 0 in multiplication to here we have capital e sub 0 y into the sine the trigonometric function over pi into x divided by small a the bracket is completed and here we have the complex exponential e to the power positive j times beta sub x g squared here in multiplication of unit vector ax cap here so this is the bracket completed we complete the cross product representation and finally we are left with dx into dy 
in multiplication to the unit vector a z cap here so by the next step capital p will be left with we have 1 by 2 we take e0 y to be common so here we have e0 y to be squared here as it occurs two times in the representation in multiplication to beta sub x g divided by omega into mu sub x 0 here the integrals are the same 0 to b and 0 to a corresponding to the differentials dx and dy there so they will be operative over we have two sine functions here for the same factor that it is pi x divided by a so it will be sine of pi x divided by a so this is bracket to be squared here into dx dy here now the direction will be again the a z cap direction here so when we take only the magnitude into the consideration we further get it simplified by solving the integral the mod of t the power delivered here so this is equal to 1 by 4 capital e sub x 0 y squared the phase shift constant beta sub x g divided by omega into mu 0 into small a into small b here so now substituting the values we have we have been provided the rate of energy transmission so from that we can put the left hand side to be equal to 373 to be equal to 1 by 4 capital e sub x 0 y we can take here y component to be squared here in multiplication to 193.5 times pi into 10 raised to power minus 2 we need to take the numerator again has 2 into 10 raised to power minus 2 so this is all divided by we have 2 pi into 3 into 10 raised to power 10 and in another bracket we shall be left with 4 pi into 10 raised to power 7 so this is the value corresponding to that of permeability of the free space mu 0 so omega can be treated as 2 pi f so 2 pi here and f that it was 30 gigahertz 3 into 10 raised to power 10 we have expressed here this is the value of beta sub g this is the value of small b and for a we have 2 centimeters expressed here so now we obtain capital e sub x 0 y is equal to 53.87 into 10 raised to the power 3 here so this is nothing but the peak value of electric field intensity vector so electric field intensity vector always measured for its magnitude in terms of volts per meter here this multiplicand 10 raised to power 3 can also be treated as kilo value here so simply i express capital e suffix 0 y is equal to 53.87 kilo volt per meter here so this is the required answer of peak value for the electric field intensity vector here so by the next lecture we shall be addressing the another topic in the chapter microwave transmission with the rectangular waveguide the topic is titled excitation modes in rectangular waveguides so for more such problems on to the microwave engineering subject and the knowledge if you require to have you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you